G'day, it's Gordon Chess. I'm on LeeChess.org once again to play some more Blitz. I just got home from work and uh, I'm looking forward to unwinding and just playing some Blitz. So let's see what happens. And here we go. My game is paired. Who am I playing? Ghost 2016. Okay. Let's try and play quickly. Italian game. What do we get? Castles. So d4 is an interesting move, which is a pawn sack. I recently looked at it. Okay, knight c3 is more boring, but it's definitely possible. This is actually a line that I've played myself with white. I don't think I played it by choice, though, because my opponent played. Oh, no, wait. No, I, I actually played this line with black, because my opponent chose to play it with... Um, with white. So a4 is curious. It's probably fine. Okay, let's stop bishop g5 because it's a bit annoying. Okay, I can play d5 even in this position, but okay, let's just play conservative. He'll bring the knight to g3. Let's get out of d4 with a tempo. Okay, so rook e8. He's going to go knight h4, maybe. Rook e8, bishop e6 is my plan. Knight h4, I, I think I got knight takes e4. That's a. Except there might be knight g6. But knight g6 doesn't threaten anything, so. Okay, bishop e3. So I can go d5 now, even. That looks okay, actually. Let's go d5. Not much calculation here. I'm just kind of playing instinctively. Because now he's bishop on e3. He's hanging. He'll probably take on a7. I'll take with the rook. Looks a bit weird to put the rook on a7, but I, will, I didn't want to bring the knight to a7. The knight on a7 is pretty bad. I'm going to bring the rook back to a8 at some point anyway. So I can play bishop e6 here. What is he threatening exactly? I don't know. Well, then, uh, then he'll play knight c5. Okay. Okay, let's just bring this back. H3, so bishop f5, there's, or bishop e6, there's knight c5. So knight f4 looks, I've got to be careful, knight f4, okay, I can't think all day. Okay, knight f4 in, in intending bishop e6, and also putting some more pressure on d3. King h2. What's that all about? Beats me. So bishop e6, I can also go... No, knight, knight e7 blunders a pawn, so... Let's do that. Okay, I'm down on the clock. I need to speed up a little bit. So actually, on bishop takes e6, I can take with the rook here, because d3 is immediately hanging. Yeah, take it with the rook... There's knight c5 again, okay. Okay, so I'll take with the knight. Knight c5 is a move that's really annoying. I'm trying to, trying to avoid this move if I can. I think I can go queen d7 and just rook a d8 and pile up on the d3 pawn. Also queen Queen d5 might be a move. What is he threatening? I don't know. I like queen d5, actually. I need to be very careful about knight f6. That sometimes that move is on. But not here. So, okay, I'm attacking d3. This is my idea. 
I can play knight f4 now and attack it again. I'll sort of be pinned. And also go knight a5. Hmm. I wonder if f5 is a move. That's a very strange move. f5. Let's go for it. It's very risky. Plus, with no time, it might backfire. So, can I play e4 or is that not good? e4 takes. Trade some stuff. try it's probably not great but I don't want to play passively can also recapture maybe can also recapture but I don't know maybe I should trade rook takes rook takes knight takes takes there Okay, I can't think all day. I need to take that. Okay. So if I trade, what's happening? Don't trade. Okay, I've had to trade. F5 is hanging. That was really bad. Really bad play. Okay. Okay, I get the rook the second rank. Grab a pawn. Knight f3 check might be on. No, he's got king g3. Okay, he's got a check. I can run up with my king. Tricky position. I hope I don't plunder something. I probably will. Yep. Here. playing this particularly well. Yeah, I just blundered a pawn. That's pretty bad. Okay, so I'm probably losing. Ah, that was just, that was a dumb move. But I can take here. I can t no, he doesn't want it. That was a dumb move too. Uh, I get I get the pawn. Oh, he gives a check. F6. Oh, he's playing this quite well, unfortunately.
I can't trade rooks. I think he's messed this up. I win this pawn. Ah, uh, no, he's got rook g6. Okay, doesn't want it. That might be the winner. Did I win on time? I think I won on time. Whoa. Oh dear. So am I still losing? Yes. Okay. Whoa. I won that on time. That's really bad. But I'll take it. So what did I do wrong in this game? This line is just harmless for black. But Bishop g4 was better. Yeah, okay. Okay, so knight d4 is a real threat. Okay, yes, that makes sense. Yeah, and you basically have to. And this is very helpful to black just to get rid of some pieces. Yeah, okay. That's, uh, that's quite good then. Bishop g4 is very good then. a6 is also fine. I think the way I played it was just perfectly fine. Take e3, bishop g4. It always wants to play bishop g4 and just, you know, just take on f3. Okay, d5 was ambitious, but... Didn't seem to be completely bad. Maybe rook e1, as the computer suggests. And my e5 pawn is actually pretty weak. But the way it happened in the game, king, king h2 was a very strange move. This was just completely equal. I had no problems, and I'm, I'm even playing this quite nicely. Queen b3, okay. Yeah, f5 is even good. Okay, d4 is probably just a bit rushed. Sorry, e4. G6, just to box out the knights, makes a lot of sense. This is just a bit too rushed, and it's just not good even. He should take. Okay, the way he played it was bad. Okay, knight e5 makes a lot of sense. Yeah, black is... Uh, I, okay, the engine said black was better, but not anymore. And I have to trade, of course. I just didn't see that f5 was hanging. And now I should lose. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. He didn't play it. Ah, oh, the knight's hanging. Rook f5. Rook f5. Ah, uh, that would have... That would have been good. That would have made it a lot easier. Rook f5. Well, why didn't I go to e7? That was much better. Okay. Even still, this is not so bad. But I've got to play... Precisely. Okay. E even blundering this pawn... It's still not completely easy. So where did I really go wrong in this ending? Yeah, h5 of course, but g5 is better, yeah. Yeah, h5 was was just totally ridiculous. He, did, he didn't take it immediately. Okay, now he takes it. So I played h5, which was bad, and I played rook h2, which, which was really bad. King f4 is winning for white. Yeah, okay. 
making it force pretty obvious, but... And here I somehow didn't lose. Alright, let's play another. One win, I'll take it. Despite how bad it was. I seem to have got a text of some sort. No, I just got some spam. Nice. Owen Krowecki. 2100. This will be... This will be tough. I need to really focus. You play c6 or transpose back into a Karakhan. Pan of Botvinnik. Yeah, this is a this is a popular line. I forget how it's played. I think you take d5, but oh, I can't remember this stuff. Okay, I'm just gonna play a conservative move. Let's take now. I'm not going to bother to hang on to that pawn. I just want to get developed. This is probably rather harmless for black, but still, I think I should do it. Maybe I should have played d6 actually, rather than uh, give him the pawn back like this. Yeah, I, I played castles a bit too quickly. d6 was certainly better. It was definitely better. It was a lot better. Yeah, black is certainly quite okay. Oh, it takes with that knight. Interesting. Generally, you don't want to trade when you have an IQP. It's hard to avoid it. Okay, I need to play quicker. I'm trying to encourage f6. I don't want I don't want to exchange this bishop for one of his knights. Bishop e6. Rook c1, there's knight takes c3. Knight e4, maybe. Knight c5. Okay, let's play quick. Let's play quick. Knight comes to c5. Knight c5. Tempo. How does he cover the pawn, actually? Queen c8. It's running into, like, rook c1. How does he cover the pawn? I don't actually see it. Note the bishop on g3 doing a very good job. Yeah, this move, but rook c1. Isn't this just really terrible? I mean, I don't see a lethal knight move, but I mean, it just feels like there has to be one. Knight a6 is just not doing that much, but bishop b5. Okay, let's go here. There's no lethal knight move. Wow. Bishop b5, and if he plays a6, knight a6. What was queen c6? Ah, 
Aha. Okay, trade. Oh, we could take with a bishop. I didn't see that. I don't know what I'm doing. Just gonna play quick. I'm always down on time. This is really a problem. I actually didn't want to do that. Could I have taken the... No. no. Oh, I blundered that. Oh. Okay. That was a disaster. What happened? What happened in this game? Okay, so far so good. G6. Yeah, you meant to take on d5, but it's all complicated. I don't know this line very well. And now here, I should play d6. This is so much better. Because now he has... Okay, the way we played it in the game, he was able to get the pawn back, but this forces him to get the pawn back and worsen his pawns in in the process. So d6 is a much better move. I mean, the, the engine likes castles, but... I think d6 is just so much better. I actually played this correctly. I'm quite surprised. Knight e4 is correct. Knight c5. Queen d2 was a big advantage. Queen d2. What's the idea? I don't understand, actually. It's just asking black for a move. I actually don't understand queen e4. I mean, queen d2. What's the idea? Okay, queen d2 again. Huge advantage. Okay, this is still good. Ah, okay. Queen d2 maybe prevents bishop h6. Okay, okay. a4 is good. I mean, I had a good feeling that this was just winning. Okay, I missed that he can take a4. a5 is winning. Interesting. And then take on a6. Ah, of course, because the pawn's not hanging now. Hmm. Yeah, this was just a big oversight. I'm, I'm still actually playing okay. Yeah, that was a mistake. I didn't know what else to do. I had no time. It's still somewhat playable. Okay, now maybe not anymore. I was really just playing moves to not lose on time at this point. And I, and I just blundered B4 and now it's just gone. Yeah, 
and I was completely busted. Alright, so I'm actually reasonably happy with that game, except for the finish. I was quite happy with my play there. I found all the right moves up to A4, I just missed that A5 and Black doesn't have the chance to take the A pawn and then I just play Knight takes A6 and just win big material. Okay, this will be the last game of the session. Assuming the game starts. Modali 14 with black. Okay, 2082, another you know, reasonably high rated player. Uh, this one, F4, D5. No, okay, we transpose back to a four knights. Uh, knight d4. Let's play that. Oh, what is it? Knight f3 and then d6. How does this go again? Knight f3 takes d6, h3. Bishop e7. Okay, it's... It's fine for black anyway, but he'll play h3 just to not be annoyed. Okay, maybe he won't. Okay, bishop g4 is not really a threat anyway, I guess. c6 makes sense in order to make his knight on c3 look bad. Bishop e6 is a useful move. I like bishop e6, let's go for that. Because if he trades now, he opens the f-file. Quite like that. I might play a5, a4, a5, b5, and a4, and just force him to trade. I think I like this. Uh, B5 or A5? What is he preparing? I don't know what rookie one's doing. Okay. Full steam ahead. Because now A5, he's either forced to take on E6 or play like A3 or A4, and then I take on B3 myself and I weaken his pawn structure. Bishop G5, I don't understand. Wow. Okay. And now you're going to take on e6? You are going to take on e6. That's quite surprising. Because uh, I'm threatening bishop h4 winning. So he needs to move the queen. What? Bishop h4 and resigns. What's the deal? Okay. I don't care if you take on e6. Like, I really don't. Um, so, I will take a rook. You'll take on e6 with check. I don't really care. And I'll play... I wonder if... Okay, queen h4 actually looks quite good. Where does the rook even go? And I've got queen f4. Queen h4 looks pretty damn good. Attacking the rook on e1. And there's rook f2, the queen f4 check, no. So basically, I don't care if he takes these pawns, I just want to checkmate him. This is my concept. Because um, I think time now is a very important uh, part in this game. I can play actually rook f1 if he takes d6, queen f4, g3, queen f3 and resigns. I believe. Queen d6, I'm pretty sure, is not possible. g3. 
Okay, so I can play Queen F6. I actually want to checkmate him. I really do. Queen G5 for Queen C1. I like that, I think. So Queen D6, Queen C1, and I think that's over. I don't think he can ignore Queen C1. Okay, Queen C1 and resigns. What am I missing here? I don't get it. Queen C1, some pawn push. No, let's just go for it. So I can play a bunch of checks or rook f8. Now, if this is not a checkmate in some in some way, then there's something seriously wrong with this game. Ah, if I do that rook no, I checkmate him then. So queen f1 th is the threat, and queen g1. What does he do about this? g5, he gives his queen away. Hmm, okay. So check, check. Hmm. Here. Rook G two. Check. Queen G two. And because Rook G two, I got Rook H two. So he needs to move the king, and I take g3 with check. No, I don't take it with check, not quite. Okay, I just want to open stuff up. I feel like I had something so much better than this. Please tell me there's no defense to the h-pawn. That pawn is really quick. I've really, really messed this up. What have I done? Oh, what have I done? I can't believe it. I've messed this up so badly. Okay, but he's playing this quite badly as well. There's no check with the queen. Oh, there's that one. Oh, no. Check here. 
Ah, oh, this is this 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 is a disaster. What have I done to my game? Oh, and he queens. He queens. Can't believe it. I can't believe that. That is a joke. Oh, how how did I screw this up? What? You could just take the queen with. Me. Oh, the queen was pinned. The queen was pinned. Oh! I thought I was being checkmated, but the queen was pinned. The queen was pinned! I still can't believe this. Oh my goodness. Oh, but, but he has mate in one here with queen f8. <laughs> oh, I really bungled this one up. That's, that's really... Oh, I can just take f7. No, oh, but that wins. That wins for... That wins for white? Oh, it's the king and pawn ending winning. That's interesting. Does this win for white? Is this king and pawn ending winning? I guess it is. Why is this? Is this really winning? Ah, his king is inside the square. That's why. Oh man, that was just a disastrous game. How did I not win this? I can't believe it. Well, I did win it, but... Oh, so many, so many blunders. This was just, like, completely over. Okay, queen c1 check is... Oh, queen c1 is just mate. Queen h6. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, this was just a complete win. Okay, rook h5 is mate. Why? Oh, no, king takes h5. So what did I play here? I played h5, which is good. Okay, so somewhere back here, what's the cleanest? I mean, every move wins. The way I played it was fine. Rook h3, queen f1. I'm even playing like all engine moves here. G3. I just got to play queen c1 check and just resigns. It's, it's just mate. Queen c1. After this move, okay, I'm still winning. Okay, knight, d, knight e2 was necessary to, to cover queen c1. A queen d1 now. His mate. Ah, his king's got no where to, His king's got no square. Many opportunities missed, and now I'm losing. B7 and white wins. That's what he played. And there's no way to catch the pawn. There's simply no way. I actually played relatively best moves. He didn't need to do that. But... Okay, now he's messed it up again. And now it should be a draw. Except I played this stupid move. G6. He has mate in two. Oh my goodness. Oh, of course it's mate. Of course. This is just mate. And he played this move. <laughs> Rather than playing mate in one, he played f7. And I can't even take it because that's a losing ending. And I played the check and played the check and played rook h7. And now he's got mate in one with queen f8. But he plays this move, and I, and I thought this move also wins for white, but I completely missed that he can't actually take my queen with mate because it's pinned to his king. What a terrible game. It was just terrible. We both just played like total idiots. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed these games. I certainly like them all, um, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.